Hello my dear student welcome you all in science class today we are going to discuss about remaining cell organelle that are the first one is that is nucleus nucleus is very important cell organelle of the cell this is also called as the brain of the cell cell of why we are calling it's a brain of the cell because of the just like if we talk about our brain okay so definitely we are taking decisions we are talk we are, our body the whole body is being controlled by the brain that's why if we talk about the nucleus of the cell so this nucleus is helping to control it controls all the functions of the cell all the functions definitely the cell whatever the functions are performing just like respiration digestion absorption Uh, synthesis of something, di digesting of something. So all these functions are being performed by the nucleus. It is being controlled by it. Functions are performed by the cell, but controlled by the nucleus. This be because of this contains some of. The, if we talk about this, it contains the genetic material of the cell, and genetic material of the cell that is DNA and RNA. Okay, fine. So definitely, this is important. So we have to discuss about the different parts of the nucleus. The nucleus is surrounded by the membranous structure. This membranous structure by which it is surrounded, we are calling it. It's a nuclear envelope, or else we are calling it nuclear membrane. What we are calling it? It's a nuclear membrane. This nuclear membrane protects. or it separate the genetic material which is present inside the nucleus or we can say that the nucleoplasm which is present inside the cell the jelly like or the jelly like substance which is present inside the cell or the substance which is present inside the uh, nucleus is called as nucleoplasm this nucleoplasm is bounded by the membranous structure called as nuclear membrane and this is also called as nuclear envelope clear okay now let's move towards the nuclear pore so it is having the nuclear membrane is having the presence of the small pores in it these pores are allowing the exchange of the substances okay so these are Uh, through this nuclear pore, the substances are going to get inside the nucleus. Nucleus is having the dense part in it that is called as nucleolus. Okay, this dense part of the nucleus is called as nucleolus. They are the th thin thread-like structures which are called as chromatin network. This is you are finding that inside the nuclear nucleus. The thread-like structure called as chromatin network. R is no chromatin networks are going to be prepared or synthesized inside the nucleolus. Okay, this chromatin network when they are going to get condensed, they are forming the chromosomes. Chromosomes. These chromosomes are chromosomes are carrying the characters. They are carrying the genes on it. they are carrying the genes on it and these genes are basically carrying the character of the species character of that particular organism from one generation to another generation ye ek generation se dusri generation mein characters ko carry karte hai if we talk about the what are what kind of characters are being carried by the genes so that are just like you may have seen uh, the color of the eye the body color the skin color is and the behavior way of style uh, living style so everything which is the, all these kind of characters are being carried by from one generation to by the genes from one generation to another generation if we talk about the eye color okay some is have if somebody somebody is having the brown eye in the family so definitely you can see that you know, just like the mother if mother is having the brown eyes so uh, or else the father is having the uh, brown eye and if you are going to see that in the child also the same eye color is there maybe brown eye color is there means definitely that color is being carried by the genes from one generation to another generation okay so student i hope 
you all understood about the nucleus and now let's learn about the next cell organelle that is vacuole vacuoles are another cell organelle vacuoles are vacuoles are another cell organelle which is again large and prominent present in plant cells agar hum plant cells ki baat kare so they are having the large and prominent vacuoles present in their cell this is called as vacuole this large vacuole in plant cells help in help in storage of so many thing like if we talk about water so water is filled in a because of plant cells require more water to be stored and for functioning of the cell so that's why it is having just like photosynthesis process so for photosynthesis process the plants require water so this these vacuoles are helping in that also fine so it is store the water in it and other sugar sugar substances and other kind of minerals also in it now let's learn about it is a plant cell plant cell so what about what about animal cell animal cell also contain some of the vacuoles in it but vacuole size is very smaller in small they are rounded in shape very small in size in animal cell animal cells may vacuoles bahut chote chote aur chote chote hote okay so i think you all are i think everything is clear to you so we have discussed about all the cell organelle in this chapter and we have discussed about so many things which are which we were not knowing about the cell cell is very interesting it is having lots of things to know more about it okay so keep learning revise the chapter read the book nicely and now what we have to do is we have as we have gone through with the different cell organelle now write down by your own uh, the differences between plant cell and animal cell that will help you to learn about more of about the cell thank you and have a nice day